there's a new Algonquin cat. You're going to meet Hamlet next on All for Animals. Since the late 1920s, there has been a cat holding court, or sleeping on the counter, at New York's famed Algonquin Hotel. It all started thanks to owner Frank Case, when a stray he named Rusty wandered in. He was renamed Hamlet by the legendary actor John Barrymore, and since then, all the male cats have been Hamlet, and the females, Matilda. This is Hamlet the Eighth. He's the 11th Algonquin cat and he will be replacing Matilda the third who is going to retire shortly. So tell us his incredible story. <laughs> well, Hamlet was actually part of a feral colony out in um, Long Island. You can see by his tip deer he was trapped, neutered, and returned and somehow he wandered onto some windowsill or something. Someone found him, brought him into a shelter. By the way, found him, vetted him, said he was in perfect health, saw how friendly and playful he is, called us because they knew Matilda wanted to retire and here he is. So we should explain to folks if you don't know about feral cat colonies, these are generally community cats as they're now known and these can be street cats, they can be lost or abandoned house cats but they can also be the unsocialized street cats and so he was part of that but clearly he's not feral, he's not unsocialized and he's going to make a great addition to the oh. hotel. Everybody loves him already. They all feel guilty to Matilda. <laughs> so he's going to be meeting and greeting the guests that come into the hotel? Absolutely. He'll be right there waiting for his belly rubs. And now he's off. <laughs> The Mayor's Alliance for New York City's Animals is so grateful to the Algonquin Hotel for partnering with us for the past five years for their annual cat celebration and fashion show. Last year they raised $10,000 and they donate 100% of the proceeds to the Mayor's Alliance. And where does the money go? So we actually have a Wheels of Hope transport program which is a life-saving ride for animals. It literally takes animals from animal care centers of New York and brings them to no-kill rescues and shelter groups as well as foster homes. We also have the New York City Feral Cat Initiative which also uses our transport program to bring cats to different veterinary offices to get them spayed and neutered and we have other programming as well all under our coalition of 150 plus groups. Hi Parker. Yeah. Yeah. It was started 15 years ago uh, to do trap, neuter, return of feral cats. Um, we pick up many kittens from backyards and socialize them. We find dumped cats that are friendly and we also take cats and kittens out of animal care and control. We're part of the New Hope program. There's always cats to be adopted and you guys are one of the groups that's really at the forefront of helping community cats in New York City. That's right. We only take cats from New York City. And I use them as a theme, so you're going to see Sweeney Todd, uh, the, the music, the sound of music, Annie, the music man, and such and such, you know, based on that. And I'm so excited. <laughs> tell, me why, tell me why supporting Animal Rescue is so important to you. Well, it's a big passion of mine. I mean, people choose different charities. I have chosen animals because they don't have a voice. And for me, it's important to be uh, an advocate for them and being there helping out. For more information about the Algonquin cat, visit algonquinhotel.com. And remember, if you're thinking about getting a pet, please make yours the next great rescue story. Check out Linda's Cat Assistance or visit a shelter near you. I'm Susan Richard. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on All for Animals. Rawr. 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 <laughs> come on. Come on, Hammy. One more time. One more time. You did a good cat. You think I'm strange. You think I'm good. Hold on. <laughs>